All right. Hello there. Uh, today, I'm gonna talk about pick control and using different kinds of guitar picks, achieving pick control or training pick pick control. As you know, there's lots and lots of different kinds of guitar picks around there. There's thick ones like this one. And there's super thin ones like this one. This is like super flexy. Whereas this is uh, kind of stiff. And there's all kinds of stiffnesses and sizes in between. For example, here's a smaller one. And here is a different shape. And here is a different shape. So how does it alter your peaking control when you change your peaks? Mm, ultimately, I've been starting to think that it doesn't really matter what kind of peak you use. You know, the only thing that matters for me is the peak control and the feeling I have in my right hand when I'm picking. And I want to achieve that 100% of control and you know, really as natural as possible. And uh, uh, for quite some time I've been rapidly changing the peak, like every day I might try multiple different peaks because I feel like that's a good way to experiment and really feel your right hand and your picking technique. If I take a super thick pick, this is 1.35 torex, torex pick, so quite heavy. And if I pick with this one, I have to adjust my hand to this pick, you know, I'm trying to achieve that 100% control and looseness on my hand and because the pick is thick, I must do sub subconsciously, subconsciously uh, these little micro changes in my playing style to make it sound good. When I change this pick to something like this, I happened to find this pick on my drawer when I was cleaning and I was almost gonna throw it away, but then I was like, okay, this is so, so stupidly flexy that I must keep it just for practice sessions and try playing with a overly flexed pick. Uh, and as it turns out, this is a fucking great pick. So, as I was saying, if I compare this one to this one, thin thick I have to adjust my playing style to uh, even more lighter touch than with the thick pick you know like the thick pick you can be super light because it's easy to get the string plucking due to its thickness and hardness but at the same time when I change to the 
uh, thinner pig, which is way more flexy. I feel like I have to be even more uh, sensitive with my picking, because if I pick too hard, it will start to flex, and then it doesn't have control. But if I play super duper lightly, then this feels even more controllable than the thick pick. And for years I thought that the thicker the pick, the more like uh, control you might have because the pick itself won't flex. But now I'm starting to question that uh, way of thinking and really looking more into the world of thin guitar picks. Even though I want to play fast alternative picking style of playing. Then there's the size. I've been thinking and trying to find out which is the good size for me. For years I actually played with a pick like this. Never really, really gave it any thoughts on is this a good, good pick for me or what. I just played it with it. <laughs> It's a good pick, uh, but I don't quite feel it. Uh, like I said, most of my years of playing I, I played with this, until somebody introduced me this uh, nylon pick, up pick. And then I adapted to this one. This is the large size. If you compare this to this, it's still large pick. I felt like these were way too small for me. Then I started playing with these. I played with them for a few years and I felt like it gave me speed and accuracy. <laughs> Then, at the same time, I feel like having a thick, unflexible pick like this, it makes it more easy to accidentally apply too much force on my right hand. And comparing to this super light pick. <laughs> It's way more noticeable if I start to apply too much force, which is why I think this is a really good pick, at least for practicing. Uh, but okay, so I played with this until, I don't know if I read about it or what was it, but it came to my mind that maybe the tord uh, nylon as a material is not so good compared to Tordex. So sound-wise, I started looking back to these Tordex pickups, and uh, I don't know if you can hear it with this poor miking setup, but...
Okay, it's super hard to hear it now. Maybe it's because there's delay and stuff like that. But I did a comparison and I felt like the Toadex was way more cooler sound wise. It had more crisp and like feel to it than the nylon pickups. So I shifted back to Toadex. But I felt like this was super clumsy. Uh, shape for me because I had I had uh, gotten used to the Jazz 3 pickup shape the large ver version yeah so I couldn't go back to this because it felt so clumsy and uh, then I found out that these were available a small and a big and I started to like the small ones, even though I had thought that they were like way too small. Because when I first got got into the Jazz Three pickup uh, pick, I had been playing with these, so the small version was just too small. That's why I chose chose the bigger one. But now when I shifted to back to Torex. I don't know how this happened, but I started to play with the small jazz tree. And this really felt like, once again, like it had that nice feeling of the Torex in the sound, but it also had the uh, like the increased accuracy and speed of the jazz tree. And given the small fo form factor, it gave, you know, like an added bonus to those. Characteristics, characteristics, yeah. Then I competed with these two, which would be the pick for me. And I believe it was, I felt like I liked this maybe a little bit more, but it had this, uh, the sound was better on this smaller one. And this is actually a little bit thinner than this one. This is uh, 1.14 and this is 1.35. So currently I've been sh switching with these two. I feel like this has more groove in it. But this is maybe more agile and sounds maybe better. But that's the thing, how it feels on your hand and what kind of groove you're able to, you know, come up with that has the most huge impact on your sound as well so even if you'd have a great sounding setup but you don't feel like let's do this then the outcome will probably be shit whereas if you have uh, the poorest setup ever but you're feeling like let's do it you might sound way better and one more thing about the uh, thickness and material of the picks this was one big factor for me in choosing the pick this is a demonstration on the sound this is a nylon pick and I'm gonna use it to do a pick scrape <laughs> Now let's compare it to this old school Torex pick. Nylon. Torex. 
Analytics. I don't know how well you can hear it, but to me it's night and day. This is pure shit. And this is fucking awesome. Okay. So, Torex had the quality of that. Ah, oh, that. You know, like great pig scrapes and uh, added crispiness on the tone. Then I also noticed that the lighter the pick, the more crazy the sound of a pick scrape will be. So if I have a thick thorax pick, medium. This is not thorax, but it's ultra three, ultra thin. So, basically, the thinner the pick, the more scrape you're gonna get. And uh, with these two, they sounded quite the same. But I feel like that if it's thick, then it's like a it's not guaranteed that you will have a great scrape but with this it's always great scrape so I'm thinking of finding 1.14 thickness in the shape of this large jazz 3 but like I started this session by talking about this ultra thin pick and how it has this great feel. Maybe not on live sessions, but at least on when I'm practicing. I will have to take a closer look in those super thing, like the blue blue Dunlop pick. I think uh, I'm, I'm I'm not sure how that how thin it that is. This is the bl uh, green regular. This is 0.88. Uh, Quite fucking good, but uh, this is way more thicker than this one, so I think the blue one is like seven point seventy something or sixty something. I don't know. I wanna try and get those in the shape of these two and see how how they work. Yeah, I don't know. I like the pointy, pointy, pointiness of this, but I also like the roundness of this. It's a whole fucking world of guitar picks, and I don't know. Then there's these abnoxities. I happen to find this at the end of my drawer, and this is actually quite fun. <laughs> Super, like, accurate, but uh, it feels quite weird, not my cup of tea. Then these Altex picks, large and small, just three. <laughs> Altex is great feeling, but it's way too thick. It doesn't have the scrape. Okay, then I have this one. Uh, this is Petrucci, 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 Grim Theater. <laughs> Ooh. 
good pick. But yeah, maybe I encourage you to buy a lot of different kinds of guitar picks and really try them out and don't get stuck in one because well at least I feel like it's has, it has been super fun to uh, change them like daily you could have your session going on and you could be like switching around with two or three picks like okay let's take the white one just three and then let's take the ultra thin uh, blaze the shit out of <laughs> this Friday pick and then uh, let's take uh, the thick so then we could be like side by side testing them as my session goes on <laughs> I feel like practicing with all of them and especially with like super hard and super flexy it gives me a nice add-on to my practice sessions because I have to really like uh, concentrate on the feeling on my picking hand and the you know like the how hard feel uh, how hard I squeeze it and you know, what's my pick attack and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know, but it's a never ending journey. Uh, what's the greatest guitar pick for you? I have no idea what's the greatest pick for me. Definitely I have no idea. What I can say is that they're quite cheap, so get a lot of different picks and uh, just try them out and Try to find the control in every style of pick. I feel that's a great way to practice your pick control. I'm not the greatest picker there, but you know, I feel like uh, it's not about the pick itself. It's about your right hand and what you can do with it, <laughs> pick-wise. So yeah, uh, so basically, if you have the skill, it don't matter what kind of pick you're using. You can use whatever pick. You can use, let's use this one, like this. The point is that you should be able to play with any style of pick. If you can, you're probably quite good picker, you know. Because <laughs> you know, yeah. If you only pr practice with one style of pick, then if there's any changes on the environment or the pick or whatever, then you're like, oh no, I'm not used to this uncomfortable feeling so then you're gonna sound shit 
but if you have already practiced with all kinds of peaks and you know maybe not a peak at all just <laughs> Then you have set yourself for a good outcome in any given situation. I don't know. I hope this was a little bit interesting to some of you. And uh, all right, until next time. Which picks do you use? Is it one of these? Something else? What's the benefits of those picks? Why do you use them? Tell me. I'd like to know. Maybe I'll try them out myself. <laughs>